Welcome to Business Principles on the Smart Chiropractor Show. Business Principles each and every week on Tuesdays is when we take a few moments to talk about business principles in your practice. And today we're going to talk about the ways that you shouldn't sell supplements in your practice. Stop doing these things if you are. So if you're somebody that has physical products, it extends to supplements as well. If you have a counter behind your front desk or a closet with a light off or on that has a whole bunch of stuff in it, there is opportunity there, but there's opportunity cost as well. And understanding what is the easiest, best way in a patient-centric model that enables me to earn the most amount of revenue, my patients to have the best experience, and save myself a lot of headaches in the process is a good thing. And that's where we're going to go on today's episode. Jason, when we talk about stop selling supplements this way, what comes to mind for you? You know, that we, we've got to start off with a couple different things. Number one, uh, we are talking about this in the context of our sponsors, which is the Payday Practice Book and 30-Day Accelerated Training coming soon to you. And what is being taught in that book, written by Jeff and myself, uh, is the concept of building monthly recurring revenue that meets your monthly recurring expenses so that you can practice with financial freedom. Imagine... If every first of the month went from, uh-oh, back to zero and here come the bills and turned into payday, the day that you know you can generate enough recurring revenue every first of the month to cover the expenses you have in your practice each and every month. And it's within that context that we want to make sure that those chiropractors that currently are selling products, and that's not most of you. All right, let me actually clarify that. Currently selling products successfully, that's not most of you. Many of you have things for sale. As Jeff said, we've all been to seminars. We get excited. The booth babe or guy talks us into, you know, well, we should buy a case. And, oh, wow, double the case. I get an even better deal. We get back to our practices. And then we get that icky feeling like we have to sell it. And between the inventory and the cost of product and the feeling of selling, Things just tend not to work out so good. And most docs have either the experience of inventory or they just sort of do it, but they know it's not really making them much money. Now, I know there's exceptions. There's a couple of people that have figured it out. And those that have figured it out and who are really making money selling supplements oftentimes are those that tend to focus more on supplements than on chiropractic. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but we're talking about chiropractors doing chiropractic and serving their people at the highest level. And it's within that context that you want to learn how do you offer people products that they're likely buying already, but help them do it at a higher level that you can benefit from. And in fact, when I say benefit, I don't just mean make a few bucks. I mean, solve your financial stress forever. Okay. I'm not concerned if you, oh, wow, look at that. We sold a $100 bottle of pills. I made 50 bucks. That's not what we're talking about. If that's your consciousness, keep on adjusting. What we're talking about is solving for the financial stress that unfortunately probably drives most of the decisions you make in your practice and in your life. And if that all makes sense, then what we're trying to suggest to you, what we are suggesting to you, is that you learn the payday practice philosophy which is what can I be offering my patients that they're already buying anyway, that they actually ask me about on a regular basis that I've been dropping the ball on it happens to all of us. You know, somebody says, Hey doc, you know, I'm, I finally decided the reason I'm coming in is, you know, I'm just tired of being in pain and I just turned, you know, I remember this happened all the time. I just, for whatever reason, 55 seems to be a magic number for people. I had a lot of people that came in and they said, I just, had my 55th birthday, and I realized I'm going to take care of me. I've been taking care of people, other people all my life. Now I'm going to start taking care of myself. Doc, what should I do? And of course, I'd like to think one of your first recommendations is check their spine, see if they're subluxated, if they need chiropractic care. That's, of course, the number one recommendation for chiropractors. But it shouldn't necessarily stop there if they're coming to you for this type of health-oriented advice. There are certain products that are what we refer to as everybody, everyday products. Things like a green drink, I take one. Things like multivitamins, I take those too. 
Things like vitamin D, would you know it? I take those too, every day. Not just when I'm in pain, not just when I feel like it, but because I know it contributes to my health and I know you have those same types of products yourself. So let's ask the question, why are you not offering your favorite things to your favorite people? The answer is because it's difficult, it's clunky, oftentimes inefficient and unprofitable, even though it's a good idea. So the way you want to think about these things is how can you find certain systems and we'll help guide you if you go through the payday practice training and tell you about smart care stores and basis health supplements. But the philosophy is that you want to offer people better service than they would get at Costco or Amazon or Target or anywhere they buy individual products one at a time. Amazon revolutionized it and you sort of see it everywhere now. Subscribe and save. Subscribe is really intended to be a convenience. You don't subscribe to something you're not interested in. You subscribe to something that you just want to automatically come to you because you know you want it. And when it comes to everybody, everyday type supplements, the goal is to take them on a regular basis. And perhaps I'm the only one who finished a bottle of supplements that somebody recommended to me that I bought. And you get to the end of the bottle, you forgot where you bought it, you don't wanna spend the money again, you don't wanna make the trip to the store, and it just falls out of habit. And that's what we're trying to solve for them that benefits you. So if you start recommending your favorite products, supplements are those that oftentimes are the easiest ones to understand that would make sense for you to recommend that you drop ship to their home or office, wherever they prefer, on a monthly basis for their convenience and for your benefit. And if you follow this principle enough over time and you follow what we call the MVMI financial freedom formula, you will find in time that you are serving your people better and you are building yourself up recurring revenue that will ultimately, if you follow the payday practice model, set you financially free, all by doing the right thing. Remember, it is serving, not selling. If it feels like selling, you're probably not doing it right. If you wanna learn how to serve, check out the payday practice and keep watching the Smart Chiropractor Show every Tuesday. Tune in to tune up your practice in your life. Jeff, that's, uh, it, it, it's, it's something people kind of know is obvious when they hear it, but it's just the mechanics along the way. And you know, many of the times the reason people aren't doing this is because the technology has not existed yet to be able to make it simple and easy for docs to have, drop ship, outsourced customer service, all that goes along with being able to make it easy now for docs to do. Jason, you set the vision. I'll, I'll, I'll say it very, very practically. Get that shelf of dusty stuff out from behind your desk. You know, if you when you're buying things and putting out money, then you're trying to sell them to make a margin on the back end. We know that for 95% plus of docs, it just doesn't work out the way that they'd like it to do. And the other aspect of it is something that I brought up a few times here, and I experienced this pain myself. Patient comes in, asks, you know, what do you purchase or how do you take a multivitamin, vitamin D? I spent 10 minutes poorly describing something. Next thing I know, they come in with the wrong thing a week later instead of me being able to offer it conveniently and directly to them. That's what Smart Care Store System and the Payday Practice is all about. How it fits into the Smart Chiropractor is we power the marketing and sales through that engine. Right now, our Smart Care Stores are only available for our Smart Chiropractor members, but be on the lookout in the future as we continue to extend that. Jason, I'm going to bring both of us on the screen right now because we are going to wrap up a fantastic show. This was another great week. An awesome opportunity to learn from Dr. Kevin Christie, Dr. Reed Nellis, to dive into topics that are relevant to clinical practice today, tomorrow, this year, and beyond, and set the stage for where we hope to guide doctors as we get excited about the future of the profession, the opportunities that lay in front of us. I hope it translates to everybody watching. What's a highlight of today's episode for you? You know, I, I love the idea. You know, you and I have been working on the payday practice concept, the smart care store concept, basis health supplements, smart chiropractor technology stack. Uh, those people in our lives that know us and love us the most know that this has been years in development. 
And, you know, my favorite part about the show is doing the show. We're finally able to sort of go, hey, everyone, an answer, a solution, a direction, an opportunity is here. It's a lot of, you know, passion and joy that we're finally able to share with everybody. That's what this show is about. You tune in every Tuesday and we just keep chipping away. We keep adjusting, just like people coming into your practice. I'm going to keep making the metaphor. You know, we are to you what you are to them. We keep making adjustments to keep helping you enhance your performance in practice, help you implement new skills, new technologies to get better results and make it easier and automated. That's the name of the game. You've got so much more you can be doing to serve your people. But, you know, we were just in Vegas at a seminar, 3000 chiropractors, and a lot of them looked tired and exhausted and frustrated and you know, disappointed that they're not achieving what they want. And the reason that's for happening for most chiropractors is you're just not understanding the concept of automations, how to use technology to your advantage. You know, there's so much, and I'm not talking AI and all robots and all that stuff. I'm sure that'll come. But for right now, automating your email system, making sure that Emails are going out on a weekly basis, making sure you've got stuff on your social media channels. That's not just a paid advertisement, but something that people can actually learn from and appreciate and share with other people. Putting this all together and now just the understanding of adjusting your business model to be able to guarantee every month you can cover your overhead. You know, I ask this every time I talk to somebody, what are you up to? We tell them about the payday practice. They go, is there anybody else talking about this? And they go, no. They go, how come nobody's ever explained it this way? It's so simple. If I didn't have to worry about the finances and I could practice with freedom, if I could say what I want to who I want, if I could not work with certain people or certain payers because I'm not stressed about the money, wow, that would be awesome. And uh, we, to that we say, uh, yes, it would be and yes, it is. So I love what we're doing. I'm proud of our team. I love working with you and, and just what's going on, the feedback from clients who are like, well, let me give this a try, see if it works, only to get you know emails and texts almost daily, not every day, but on a pretty regular basis and going, damn, you guys are right. I just, I just set up the email system this morning and emails are going out and my schedule's filling up. It can't be that easy. Yes, it can. Systems and processes. If you would like to, you know, build a practice that has more of your ideal patients, a smart chiropractor is the way to go. This was an awesome episode. Next week might be even better. So, Docs, thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to check out next week's episode on Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time and across all social channels there. After you can find us hosting the Smart Chiropractor Show. On behalf of Dr. Jason Deitch, I'm Dr. Jeff Langmaid. Have an awesome week, and we'll see you next Tuesday for another Smart Chiropractor Show. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to The Smart Chiropractor. We are posting videos on how you can market your chiropractic practice in a way that teach and invites consistently. We have found that is the magic formula to big time growth. So if you like this video, be sure to comment down below, smash that subscribe button, or visit us at thesmartchiropractor.com.